limited um, support sometimes, financial support, resource, but alhamdulillah, an initiative that continues every year and supports the British Sujaj. Please welcome Lord Adam Teller Blackburn, who is a member of the British Parliament, to come and speak about the empowerment to a new generation. Mr. Mohsin Tutla, Chairman and Delegates of Malaysia, South Africa, Nigeria, and many other countries of the world. Brothers and sisters, I'm absolutely delighted to hear that we are not only the chairmen or the ministers of different countries of the world, but we are the servants of the Kutza, case of Almighty. We are all gathered together here to exchange the views, knowledge, and experiences so we can form a better policy, positive and some sort of a creative policy so we can serve our Hujjahs better. Alhamdulillah, I'm delighted and honored to welcome you all to the launch of this Hajj exhibition. I was chairman for at least 10 years on behalf of the British government. And I look forward to again supporting British citizens abroad. The British Hearst delegation was established in year 2000. The first chairman of the Hearst delegation or the Hearst committee was Lord Ammon. But in 2001, after serving one year, he resigned and he handed over the responsibility to me. Alhamdulillah, from that day onwards till today, I'm the chairman of the British First Delegation to Saudi Arabia. The core of its work is in the provision of medical and consular support. In addition to consular staff, the members of the BSD, means British Health Delegations, are volunteers who give their services for free. The voluntary doctors also bear the cost of locum, cover for their day's absence, which is estimated to be approximately 40,000 to 50,000 pounds. <coughs> The British Health Delegation is a unique consular project and builds on work already undertaken by the FCO to support large movements of British citizens abroad, such as the World Cup. These aims and objectives of the delegation demonstrate clearly the commitment of the FCO to diversity, equality, and supporting citizens abroad. There are many countries with much larger Muslim population, as for example, about USA, Muslim population is about 10 million. In France, is about 5 million. Germany is also the same, about 5 million, or more than 5 million. But United Kingdom, 
is only small population, Muslim population. 1.5 to 2 million people, Muslim people, residing in this country. <coughs> Alhamdulillah, we provide their citizens with a level of support. As far as I know, only France and Germany send representatives from their embassy to provide support in emergencies. On many occasions, where British citizens and citizens from other countries share the same concerns, I have brought them to the attention of the authorities of Mecca. This has resulted in changing to better support in the country. Of course, when we are keep going to the Saudi Arabia, we ought to build a relationship with the officers of the British of, of the Hajj mission, Mosasa and Ministry of Hajj and so on and so forth, other organizations too. If you want to act acquire the benefits out of our mission, then we'll have to exchange the views and we'll have to express our concerns to them. Alhamdulillah, we have achieved that on, on a few occasions by exchanging the views and knowledge and our concerns too. I want to take this opportunity to make a tribute to the Foreign Secretary and the Foreign Office including its officials in London and Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness, including his staff in Saudi Embassy, ensuring the British Hush delegation had continued for all these years. The success of the delegation is because of the commitment and selfless dedication of the doctors that voluntarily give up 20 weeks 21 days of their time. They wake up at 5 a.m. and finish at 10 p.m. In many cases, they work past these hours into the night, seeing over 300 patients a day. The doctors see a variety of medical conditions, ranging from minor conditions right through to the most threatening ones. And the advantage of having the British Hush delegation at hand is there for the doctors to be able to treat the minor conditions and refer the serious ones to the local Saudi hospitals. I cannot stress enough that these preventative measures result in great saving to the NSS. In early diagnosis and employers, less time of work. It is estimated that over 1 million pounds are saved every year. We have now supported over 30,000 people over the last 11 years. Alhamdulillah. Last year and this year, the medical delegation will not be supported by the government. Foreign and Commonwealth Office will only send the consular officer this is in addition to support from consular offices in Jidda and Ria. Only one officer from for, uh, Foreign and Commonwealth Office. But of course, you know, some staff, two or three, will be from the Ria and also Jidda. In previous years, I and consular officers dealt with consular issues, ranging from angry and distressed British pilgrims who have arrived in Makkah to find problems with their accommodation <coughs> to rogue tour operators taking advantage of vulnerable pilgrims. In, ad in advance of the Hajj taking place, the FCO along, along with the business enterprise <coughs> and regulatory reforms and also the Civil Aviation Authority run an extensive campaign to inform pilgrims what they should do for when <laughs> arranging a hush package. So they are properly protected if, th if things go wrong 
on the on the other. <coughs> In the past, we had arranged a number of meetings with business enterprises and regulatory reform at all officials and with members of the public to discuss a range of problems that are encountered during the hurt and also the UNRWA. One of, one of the purposes of this meeting is so form a coordinated committee and ATO, BEAR, FCO, UK tour operators and businesses to make recommendations to ensure the hurt pilgrimage pilgrimage is as trouble-free as possible for British citizens. I look forward to supporting in this crucial area of work. In particular, I would like to pay tribute to and congratulate the commendable work the Council of British Hajis continues to do to address pilgrims' needs and pay free health education, and I'm proud today to officially launch the National Health and Umrah Vaccination Program and the British Health Delegation 2012. Finally, I would like to thank the Saudi government, Ministry of Health, Dr. Saldugian, and all officials of the Saudi Embassy, all voluntary doctors and voluntary organizations for the vital role they play in supporting the work of the delegation. Thank you. Thank you in anticipation. Thank you very much. Waqibu dawana anil alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, our next session is the last session before lunch and prayer. So I'd like to invite the speakers from this morning back on the stage. Um, Tan Siri Abi, please, if you'd like to make your way here. Imam Hashim, are you here? He's gone out somewhere? Okay. Uh, Mohsin Patel, uh, Mohsin Tutla, sorry, is he here somewhere? And of course, um, Muhammad Musa Bello, where are you? He's here as well somewhere. Okay. While they're coming, um, I'm going to introduce the moderator.